Hey you guys, welcome back to Beamer Lights. I'm back y'all. Um, it's been a while, but I want I wanted to hop on here and just share a quick word with you guys. Um, and I pray that you guys are having a wonder wonderful, I cannot talk today y'all. I pray you guys are having a wonderful holiday season with spending time with loved ones, family, friends. Um, and if this year maybe you're spending it alone, I pray that the Lord continues to pour himself over you and pours his peace over you and just uses you to be a mighty vessel in his kingdom. So I pray this over you today. And I'm just going to get right into this word, you guys. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, and if you guys are coming back, welcome back, y'all. So I want to share this word with you guys. Um, I know we've been dealing with spiritual warfare. There's been a lot of this just spiritual warfare intensity happening around us. And we know that the Lord is faithful. So I do want to share a few things that the Lord placed in my spirit the last few days. As I have been in prayer and worship and just spending time with the Lord. Um, so I want to share this bread with you guys before I read the scripture that I have open and what God is saying. So I do want to share really quickly that walking into 2023, oh my goodness, when I think about it, I just look back at this year and think about how much the Lord has just provided and how much the Lord has just, you know, breaking me through into new depths, right? And just continuously using me as well as you guys in so many eras of our life. And so um, I know walking into 2023, the Lord is faithful to his children, y'all. One thing he was sharing with me even today, this morning, is I was just like really thinking and sitting with the Lord is how 2023 is a year of provision, provision over the things we've prayed for, provision over promises. And God is moving his children around to be able to pour into them to receive, right? Like God wants us to be in alignment with him. And the way to do that is to have us be steadfast, to have us yield, to have us wait on the Lord so that we are not just moving from left to right that we're just so focused on him and on his assignments because that is the most important thing nothing else matters outside of what god is calling us to do because there's a plan there's a mission there's assignments with our names on it amen so again i want to go into luke chapter 10 starting at verse 16 all the way down to 20. so this is powerful you guys because I have been dealing with spiritual warfare, just like these little minor attacks of anxiety and just not necessarily over me, but over my family as a whole, right? Like if you guys know, I'm spending time with family and I just really feel like whenever the enemy is up against you and bringing so much opposition, there is a breakthrough with your name on it. You are breaking through into what the Lord has for you, what the Lord is using you for, what he's doing in you and the enemy doesn't want it. So he obviously tries to send these little darts, these schemes that never work. When you are coming up against these things, God gives us the authority to speak out against the enemy. He has no power over you. We have authority as we declare God's word over our circumstances, over any attacks that we're going through. And so with that being said, I want to read into Luke 10, starting at verse 16, which says, Then he said to the disciples, Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. And anyone who rejects you is rejecting me. And anyone who rejects me is rejecting God who sent me. Y'all, when the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, he told them, I saw Satan fall from having laid like, like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you, but don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. So even greater than, than the authority that God gives us, greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. Greater is the fact that we are citizens of heaven. So yes, God gives us the will to continue to move forward. God gives us the authority to trample over scorpions and snakes and crush them. But how much better it is to know that we are registered in heaven, meaning that we just glorify God, that we just walk in the provision of God as his children, as his heirs. That is so powerful. So yes, he gives us the authority to rebuke. He gives us the authority to, the authority to cast out. He gives us the authority to stand. And that is powerful in itself because it is the Lord who dwells within us. And so as I was sitting down and I'm like, why am I going through certain things? Why am I going through so many attacks, right? Because 
sometimes it can feel so uncomfortable. Sometimes it feels like, am I ever going to get through this? Am I ever going to get out of this situation? But oftentimes God takes you through something because he's teaching you something. He's stretching you. He's molding you. He's pruning you. And whatever you learn in, in this season of your life, whatever you are learning, whatever you are receiving from God, it is the mantles of God that you get to put on. So when you are dealing with spiritual warfare, when you are dealing with trials of various kinds, when you are dealing with snakes and scorpions, yes, we have the authority to crush them. We have the authority to stand and we have the authority to to just rebuke over them. And so I shared this because again, we are stepping into a year of provision and the Lord's teaching us how to fight, teaching us how to stand, but more so teaching us how to apply the word of God in our lives, over our lives and over the people around us. And it's so powerful because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So it's never against the people, right? It's against the principles, the principality, should I say, the powers, the, the rulers. It's the darkness, right? The darkness in this world is what we're coming up against. So when you take the blindfold off your eyes, you take the veil off your eyes, you can see so clearly. It is a spiritual warfare. It's spirit, it, it, all of it is spiritual, right? It's spiritual before it is worked in the natural. And so when you're rebuking, when you're casting out demons, when you are standing up with the word of God, it is spiritually spoken before you see it happen in the natural. And that is powerful. Like there's been so many times where I have prayed and rebuked and I'm speaking spiritually casting these things out in authority and you see it in the natural happening. That's how powerful the word of God is. God is the word. Amen. So I share this with you guys. This is obviously a shorter word, but I share this with you guys because during this time, the enemy, you know, he thinks he's tricky and sneaky, slithering around like a snake. But when you carry the word of God and you're you're putting on the armor of God day in and day out, right? Daily, nightly, put on the armor of God. Like the word tells us, which verse is it? It is in verse... 19 uh nothing will injure you meaning nothing will come near you nothing will injure you you will not be broken you will not fall to pieces you will not be split apart you will not be divided by from your family you will not be uh, exposed to divorce none of those things will in, will be in your name they will not be your portion because again greater it is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world so I pray this blesses you guys as it bless me because listen, it can be uncomfortable. He sends people into your life to help encourage you, to help fight, to help you stand. And it's in those moments where God never leaves us because he uses anything, anyone, just so we can continue to move forward. And again, I'll leave the scripture here where he talks about, um, you may stumble, but you will never fall for the Lord upholds you with his hand, meaning you will never fall off. Even if you think you got away from God's love and God's grace, he is there. And all you have to do is call on the name of the Lord and he is right there. Use the authority he's given you. Walk in the authority he's given you and put on the full armor of God. During these times, yes, it's crazy. It's ghetto. We've seen all kinds of things. But if we continue to stand in God's faithfulness and apply his word daily, we need to meditate and read his word daily. We need to pray. We need to fast is essential as a believer, as a disciple, as a Christian to pray and to fast. This is how you get closer to the Lord. It's how you discern and hear the voice of God over everything else because the enemy comes imitating the word of God. Don't ever be deceived. He knows the word of God and he uses the word of God. That's why it sounds all, all nice and sweet. But God also tells us to test every spirit and you will know them by their fruit, right? A good tree bears good fruit and a bad tree bears bad fruit. You will know the difference. And it's important to know these things because it builds up your life. Like knowing who is coming in and coming out of your life is so important. Who you're partnering with, who you're collaborating with. I'm talking about relationships, friends, right? You want to know all these things. And it's only through the word of God, through discernment, through his wisdom, through knowledge, Getting closer to God is the best remedy for all things in your life. And so, again, I pray that all of you guys have a wonderful Christmas. I know uh, many of us are celebrating Advent, which means the arrival of Christ. It's so important to know and, and teach your kids and, and have gatherings around this, right? Just making sure that we're spending time knowing 
the true life of Jesus and making that our priority as well. Spending time enjoying this season with family members and um, staying safe and warm, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but it's stormy on the East Coast and this weather is very unusual, but um, I know that God is making a way for every single one of his children. You guys, if you're in a place in a, I guess Holy Spirit wants to keep going here. If you're in a place like me where you're just being still with the Lord, keep being still with him until he opens a door for you to move forward because God is protecting us, but more so he is making ways in the wasteland, right? We, where we think it's dry, God's showing up faithful. And again, we're breaking in the new year. We're ringing in the new year and just give God thanks and gratitude and show him thank thankfulness and gratitude for what he's already done and what he's currently doing in your life because we give him all the glory in all things right god we are here because of the lord so i pray this over you guys i pray you have a wonderful christmas and new year if i'm not back on here and i will talk to you guys soon god bless you